To accurately provide a roofing quote, you'll need to know the roof square footage. So open up Google Earth. It works much better than Google Maps as far as accuracy and measuring. First, click on the magnifying glass to search, type in the address, select the right one if there are multiples, and it'll bring you in from outer space all the way down to ground level. Google likes to be a show off and make you a little dizzy, so to stop the spinning, click on the little compass here with the red. That's going to orient the map north up top, south towards the bottom, how we're used to normally looking at it. Then, make sure you click on the little tiny button that says go to 2D. That's going to bring you directly overhead. Now zoom in, get a comfortable size relative to the screen, click on the measuring tool down at the bottom left side menu bar with the little ruler. Start on any corner you want, go all the way around the edges, outlining the house. Make sure to get as many corners and angles as you can to be precise. Try not to draw a giant blobby square because that won't be accurate. You'll either overcharge or undercharge and need to do a change order, and nobody wants that. Now that you've measured the roof you do want to quote, look over here and look for the square footage. Here it shows 1658 square feet. Be careful, sometimes it'll show up in square meters or some other unit of measurement as a default. So if you see M squared or anything other than foot squared, don't type in 154, because that roof quote is not going to be even close to accurate. Once you've ensured you have the proper two-dimensional footprint of the roof in square feet, you're all set to return to the quotation tools we provided. Feel free to review our other roof sales tips and training modules for more information to equip you in your journey.